This is Sweet Whispers of Providence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Consider the statue seen in a dream by Nabucodonosor. It was great and high and tall, with a terrible look. It had the head of fine gold, breasts and arms made of silver, the belly and the thighs of brass, the legs made of iron, the feet part iron, part clay. Now, a stone cut out of a mountain without hands struck the statue upon the feet of clay and broke them to pieces, and the whole statue came crashing down like a chaff and carried away by the wind. Could it be that you have a statue of yourself in the depths of your uncontrolled imagination, a statue you worship and try to make everyone else worship? It could be that you think you have a gold head, that is, to say, a superior intelligence, and you are carried away because of your knowledge, erudition, or eloquence that attracts a large following. Perhaps you have arms and hands that possess the magic power of making silver, that is, capable of raising money for any undertaking, clever in solving the most intricate problem or tackling a desperate situation. Perhaps you have a belly of brass so that nothing and nobody frightens you and you face up courageously to any obstacle, knock it down and break it to pieces. It could be that you have legs of iron and are tireless in running here and there as a classic workaholic, organizing all and spearheading each. So far, so good. Remember, you have a feet of clay. A feet of clay, when smashed by a little rock, brings, that brings the whole statue crumbling down in confusion. This feet of clay represent your absolute natural weakness and nothingness without God's grace. Do not put too much confidence upon your natural ability and energy. To do so is to do injustice to God and to compel Him to abandon you and leave you in your confusion. Always bring to mind your nothingness without God and learn humility. Remember, this is sweet whispers of providence. Harden not your heart.